Hello Math Enthusiast! Welcome again sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. Sa last video natin, meron akong nakitang comment doon sa comment section na nagre-request siya na sana may discuss natin yung application ng sum and product of roots. Kaya ngayon, yun ang i-discuss natin. Pero bago tayo pumunta doon sa pinaka-problem solving, kailangan muna nating i-review kung paano ba natin kunin ang sum and product of roots. Now, may dalawa kasing way. Una, uh, given yung quadratic equation, kunin mo yung mga roots muna, and then, pag nakuha mo na yung mga roots, uh, saka mo kunin yung sum nila, and then yung product. Now, kung direct naman, hilingi sa inyo kung ano lang, kung sum lang, or yung product lang yung kinukuha, ang gawin nyo, gamitin nyo yung formula for sum and product. And that formula is this one. Sum is equal to negative b over a, and then the product is equal to c over a. Okay, so alam naman natin na ang numerical coefficient ng leading term natin, siya yung letter a. Okay, and then yung middle term natin, siya yung b, and yung constant term natin, siya yung c. So, ang a natin ay equal kay 1, ang b ay equal kay 4, and then, ang C ay equal naman kay 3. Now, mas madali na lang natin ma-identify yung sum and product kasi isa-substitute na lang natin yung value na nakuha natin. So, for, for our sum, that is equal to negative B over A. So, ang B natin ay 4. Kaya, magiging negative 4 over... Ang A natin is 1. Negative 4 over 1. So, that is equal to negative 4. Ang sum ay negative 4. Now, for our product, we have here C, our C is 3, and then over A, which is 1, kaya ang product natin ay 3. Yan. Now, hindi na natin kinuha yung roots. By the given formula, makukuha natin yung sum and product. Inuulit ko, yun ay kung ang hinahanap lang diretso ay sum and product. Pero kung hahanapan ka ng roots, kailangan mong i-identify muna yung roots, saka mo kunin yung sum and product. Now, example number 2, 4x squared minus 25. So, ano ang A natin dyan? Kung mapapansin nyo, dalawang term lang tayo. We, uh, we, oh, sorry, we have the leading term and the constant term. Wala tayong middle term kasi wala yung may first degree na x. So, ang a natin will be 4. And then, ang b natin, since missing siya, 0 siya. And then, our c will be negative 25. Now, let's identify the sum. Hanapin natin ano ang sum and product. So, ang sum ay negative b over a. Since ang ating b ay 0 over 4, ang sum natin ay magiging 0. Okay? Tandaan nyo na any number, pag, uh, eh, 0 divided by any number, ang sagot ay 0. Okay? Laging 0 ang sagot pag ang 0 ay dinibide mo ng kahit anong number. Now, para naman sa ating product, we have C, which is negative 25, over 4. Okay? So, this will be our product. Masisimple pa pa ba siya? Malulowest term pa ba siya? Wala na. So, the product is negative 25 over 4. And then, for our last example, we have here, letter A is equal to 2, letter B is equal to 7, and letter C equals to 3. Kaya, ito ay magiging sum is equal to 7, which is our B, or negative. Dapat siya ay negative kasi ang formula natin ay negative B over A. Or remind ko lang kayo, negative B over A. Sorry. Okay, so negative B, which is 7 over A, is 2. So, ang sum natin ay negative 7 over 2. Hindi na siya masisimplify. Now, for our product, we have, aha, C over A. Diba? C over 
A. Ayan. So, ang C natin ay 3 at ang A natin ay 2. So, we have the sum negative 7 over 2 and product 3 over 2. Ganun lang yung pagkuha ng sum and product. Ngayon, ang medyo mahirap gawin ay yung application niya na i-discuss na natin. Okay? Application. Uh, solve the problem by applying the sum and product of roots of quadratic equation. Application. Solve the problem by applying the sum and product of roots of quadratic equations. So, kailangan daw isolve natin to by applying the sum and product of roots. Okay? Dapat may apply natin yung ginamit natin kanina or yung ginawa natin kanina. Now, this is the problem. The perimeter of a rectangular metal plate is 28 decimeter. And its area is 40 decimeter squared or square decimeter. Find its dimension. So, kailangan natin malaman ano ba yung length and width nung ating rectangular metal plate. Now, ang nakalagay dito, kailangan ma-relate daw natin yung measures to the sum and product of quadratic equation. Pero, may hint dito. The perimeter of a rectangle is twice the sum of its length and width. Well, its area is the product of its length and width. So, yung perimeter daw, length plus width siya, sum kasi, and then doble, to twice mo siya. So, kung titingnan natin, eto yun yung formula niya. And then, yung area natin will be length times width. Now, ang sum and product, okay, kung gagawin natin equation yan, magiging x squared minus the sum, okay, x. Ibig sabihin kung ano man yung sum nila, ilagay mo dito katabi ng x. Siya yung middle term. And then plus yung product. Okay, para masolve natin ito. Again, x squared minus yung sum. Okay, x plus product. So, para masolve natin yan, meron tayo ditong x squared minus ang sum natin ay 28x plus yung product natin na 40. Pero, tandaan natin, ito okay na kasi ito yung product niya is length and width 40. Pero, yung perimeter natin, hindi lang basta sum ang nangyari, ba? Meron tayong minultiply na 2. So, para ito ay masimplify, kailangan i-divide pa natin siya by 2 para makuha natin yung original value niya. So, kapag dinivide natin yan by 2, okay, 28 divided by 2 magiging x squared minus 14x plus a 40. Now, equals 0 na siya. Yan na yung quadratic natin. Ngayon, kaya na natin i-identify yung mga roots niya para makuha natin yung dimensions. So, ngayon, i-factor na natin. So, meron tayo nito. Equals to 0. So, ano-ano ba yung mga factors ni 40? Meron tayong 1 times 40. Meron tayong 2 times 20. At meron din tayong 4 times 10. Pero sa tatlo na yan, ano kaya yung pag in natin, 14 ang magiging sagot. So, hindi ito, hindi rin ito. Obviously, ito siya 4 and 10. So, since x squared yan, meron tayong x dito, x dito, then 10, and then 4. Since our third term is positive, may dalawa tayong pagpipilian. Dapat pareho ang sign. Positive, positive, and then negative, negative. Now, paano natin malalaman alin dito yung gagamitin? Ang magde-decide yung middle term natin. Since ang middle term natin ay negative, ang sign natin ay magiging negative, negative. Yan, pwede na natin isolve. Paghiwalayin natin sila. Isang x minus 10 equals to 0 at isang x minus 4 equals to 0. And then, ilipat natin to dito. So, magkakaroon ka ng x equals to 0 plus positive na to. 10 is 10. And then, dito naman, we have x. Pag nilipat din yung negative 4, magiging positive 4. So, 0 plus 4 is equal to 4. So, we have 10 and 4. 
na magiging dimensions ng o ang dimensions ng ating rectangular plate. Okay, rectangular metal plate. So, 10 and 4. Now, para ma-check natin kung tama tayo, ito ang gagawin natin. So, ito daw ay 10, ang length natin at ang width natin ay 4. Tignan lang natin kung magtutugma. Ang perimeter natin ay 2 times length, the sum of the length and the width. So, 10 plus 4 is 14 times 2, 28. 28 ba siya? Tama tayo. So, 28 yung given natin kanina. And then, the area is length times width. 10 times 4 is 40. So, tama rin tayo kasi 40 din yung naging given. So, ganun lang yun. Okay, example number 2. The perimeter of a rectangular metal plate is 18 decimeter and its area is 20 decimeter squared. Find its dimensions. Now, relate the measures to the sum and product of quadratic equation. So, kung mapapansin nyo, pareho lang naman ang type ng problem, yung number 1 and number 2. Pero, ang gusto ko lang kasing mangyari, ma-practice nyo kung paano ba siya gawin. Kasi, naniniwala ako na hindi lang sa isang turuan makukuha ang isang bagay. Dapat, ito ay paulit-ulit. Okay, let's see now. So, para gawin itong quadratic equation, dapat meron tayong x squared minus sum, yung sum natin, x kasi siya yung middle term, plus yung product. Again, dahil ang ating sum ay yung perimeter, magiging x squared minus 18x plus yung product natin na 20 equals to 0. Pero, tandaan natin na ang middle term natin ay naka times 2. Kaya, dapat i-divide natin siya by 2. Kaya, magiging x squared minus, this is 9x, kasi 18 divided by 2 is 9 plus 20 equals to 0. Now, pwede na tayong mag-factor para makuha yung dimensions. So, ang factor niya, nung 20 ay, nito, 4, times 5, 1 times 20, and 2 times 10. So, alin ba dyan sa tatlo na yan ang magbibigay sa'yo ng 9 pag in nyo? So, obviously, this is, or it is 4 and 5. So, magkakaroon kayo dyan ng x, and then x, and then 4, and 5. As you can see, positive ulit ito. So, it's either positive, positive, or negative, negative ulit ang sign. Pero dahil sabi ni middle term, negative dapat, negative, negative yan. And then, we solve. Okay? So, we will have here x minus 4 equals 0. And then, x minus 5 equals to 0. So, magiging, dipat doon, x is equal to 4. And then, x is equal to 5. So, the, 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 sorry, the dimensions are 4 and 5. So, nyo ba? I-check pa natin. Sige, i-check natin. Kung ito ngayon ay, ito ay 4, ito ang 5. Ang perimeter niya ay 4 plus 5 is 9 times 2. Kasi perimeter, dalawa, 18. So, we have there 18. So, check. And then, Ang area natin ay length and width. So, length times width, 5 times 4, that's 20. So, again, nakuha na natin ang tamang sagot. So, ganun lang siya kadali. Alam kong kayang-kaya nyo yan. At kung kayo ay bago pa lang sa ating YouTube channel, meron po tayong Facebook page, Love Math. Ang link po nito ay nakalagay sa ating description box. Please paki-follow and share po ang mga videos na nandito. At syempre, please support our YouTube channel. Huwag kalimutang pindutin ang subscribe button at ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. At huwag kalimutang mag-comment kung may mga request kayong video tutorial at tanong na gusto nyong sagutin ko.